Now, let's briefly discuss the main branches of physics. Starting with mechanics. Does anyone know what mechanics is? Oh, I'm not talking about the profession. Come, I'll explain. So, mechanics relates to the study of motion of objects, its causes and its effects. Heat is another important branch which relates to the study of natural resources, transfer and effects of heat and its relation with other forms of energy. We also have sound. So sound is the study of waves, vibrations and sound production. While light deals with the behavior and properties of light, which is also used in optical instruments. Then there is also atomic physics, that is the branch of physics that deals with the study of the structure of an atom and its interaction with other particles. Geophysics deals with the study of the physical properties of our planet Earth, while plasma, the fourth state of matter, is looked at in detail in plasma physics. This is basically the study of production and properties of the ionic state of matter. Nuclear physics is a very interesting and vast field and deals with the atomic nuclei, their behavior and interactions. The last branch of physics is electricity and magnetism and this deals with the study of charges at rest and in motion and their relationship with magnetism. Wow, that's a lot of things to look at when studying physics, isn't it? Well, we learn. So, where there are a lot of positive applications of physics and technology, there are also some negative implications such as the generation of electricity using fossil fuels leads to environmental pollution. The development of weapons of mass destruction that are a constant threat to the environment and mankind both. You'll keep seeing the drawbacks as we keep moving forward. That's all for the introduction to physics. Stay tuned to learn more as we dive deep into the subject.